So no breakthrough, but a thaw in Geneva. America and Russia can now work together. What does it mean for India? Well, it's good news. Let me tell you why. Reason number one, more diplomatic options for India. Right now, it's a question of either or. Almost like a throwback to the Cold War. Every indecision rings differently in Washington and Moscow. And this limits India's options, whether on Afghanistan or Iran or weapons deals. Which brings us to reason number two. Russia is India's biggest arms supplier. And that's not something that America is too happy about. One particular sticking point is the S-400 missile defense system. India has already bought this from Russia. The first delivery is expected in October. So technically, this puts India on America's sanctions radar. You see, defense deals with Russia can trigger what is called the CATSA, the Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act, CATSA. It's a law that Washington is not shy of using. Turkey was sanctioned under CATSA for buying the same missiles from Russia. And Turkey is a NATO ally. So will America slap the same sanctions on India? Well, the question is moot. But if US-Russia tensions cool, Biden may rethink sanctions. Reason number three, a more concise Afghan policy. On paper, both America and Russia want peace in Afghanistan, but they still have vastly different plans. Russia has a pro-Taliban tilt. And this has nothing to do with ideology. As they say, your enemy's enemy is your friend. But if the two sides, America and Russia, can see eye to eye on Afghanistan, it would be a huge weight off India's shoulders, more safety for its investments, and an insurance against Taliban adventurism. Reason number four, Iran and the oil trade. Before 2011, Iran was India's second biggest oil supplier. Then came the American sanctions. Soon the oil taps dried up. It is no secret that India wants to buy Iranian oil again. But that depends on when the sanctions go. So what's Joe Biden saying? If Iran returns to the nuclear deal commitments, America is willing to lift the sanctions. The talks are happening in Vienna and Russia is at the table. If Joe Biden wants to repair the nuclear deal, he is going to need Putin's help. You see, Russia is a key ally of Iran. So President Putin can nudge Iran towards returning to the deal and this will open the oil taps again. Indian refiners can then go back to buying Iranian oil. Reason number five, a thaw leaves America free to deal with China. In the long run, this bodes well for India and let me explain how. Right now, American assets are spread thin. Some in West Asia, some in Europe and the rest in the Indo-Pacific. If America and Russia decide on confrontation, then Biden will have to focus his assets on Europe, which gives China a free pass in the Indo-Pacific. No patrols, no air support, and that's bad news for India. On the other hand, if the Russian front is secure, America, America can focus its assets on China. So India would have been watching the talks in Geneva closely. And like the rest of the world, New Delhi too, would have had low expectations. But a summit in itself is a good sign, a sign that both sides are giving diplomacy a chance. Because let's face it, nobody wants another US-Russia face-off. We had a century of wars and competition. For a change, countries want peace, or they're trying to arrive there. Plus, non-alignment has lost its 20th century sheen. India will find it hard to stay neutral this time. On one side, a key bulwark against China, and that is the United States. On the other, a decades-old partner, one powerful enough to spoil peace in South Asia, and that's not a choice that India wants to make. So a detente between America and Russia would be good news, but let's face it, that's not what we saw in Geneva. Biden showed the world that he is not Donald Trump, and Putin showed the world that he's equal to an American president. They played to their own audience, and they parted ways. If Russia and America cannot agree on a joint statement, can they agree on Afghanistan or on China or Iran? Biden and Putin stayed civil and diplomatic and that's good news for the people of the US and Russia. Well, not so much for the people of India yet. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.